That's really loud. Yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Alter Ego Podcast. We're back, baby. I'm your host, Jack Austin. With me, as always, is the Cyborg. How are you? It's good. It's me. I'm me. <laughs> His triumphant return. We have Ryan back in the building. How are you? I am swell, man. Well it, rested after vacation. He is swell. There you go. There you go. Had himself a little vacay. Good deal, man. Megan's not here yet. She's on the highway. She's on her way. She's on the highways, on the byways, Mr. Robotron. I think someone once said life is a highway. I don't know who it was, though. Nobody ever said that. Ever. Sure. In recorded history. You. Yeah. You said it. <laughs> Just now. I guess so. TM. Oh, my Trademark word. That. TM that ish. R with a circle around it. Yeah. Wait, no, it's TM. What's R with the circle around it? Registered trade. Oh. Even more official. RTM. Mm. Thought that was a weird sex thing. Me too. It is. Hey, honey, want to go RTM? Oh, no. I'm really afraid. Wrecked in the mouth. (laughs) Ah, there it is. Wrecked in the mouth. Ugh. Gross. (laughs) After that, you're going to need some Ford Supply. (laughs) Clean yourself (laughs) off. See, I set him up with the softballs. He did, man. You lobbed that up and I'm about to jam it home because this episode of Alter Ego is sponsored by Ford Supply Company, makers of all natural and organic soaps for men. With scents like tropical teakwood, citrus IPA, cypress pine. I say those three all the time, and there's so many more to talk about. But visit their website and find out what scents they do have mm-hmm. at fortsupply.com. Order online and use promo code ALTERIGO to get 10% off your order. Fort Soap, real soap. No bullshit. No bullshit. They got anything going on for the summer? Any summer flavors that you know of? Yeah, what is, the, what is the When's rep? When's just eating them? <laughs> what? Whoa, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on. Is that What's why that? you're going through we so need, many bars? We need to talk to Ford Supply. Doing a little yeah, charcuterie yeah. board with soap slivers? I'm about it. <laughs> yeah. There so, is a, uh, <laughs> actually. No, wait, now he's going to be hesitant to make edible sense. <laughs> oh, this one tastes like oranges. Does it? <laughs> it's going to be like those uh, Nintendo Switch cards. They had to make them taste bad. Just yeah. Because we're eating them. Oh, my God. Jesus. Yeah. But uh, eucalyptus lime is coming out. You've tried that one. That I have. That's you don't it. smell like eucalyptus lime today. No, that's because I'm, it got a little sliver of it left. It's about to go into the Franken bar. <laughs> I really, yeah, I was about to say, we, we've we started to develop a Franken bar, and I always try to find the sweet spot that might have some pumpkin left over. <laughs> a little spice for the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a mixture of the captain and... Uh, and pumpkin and one more i forget which one but it actually was like an oatmeal one mm, the beer one citrusy oatmeal sure yeah that brewmaster one, that'd be it oh brewmaster there you go smell like beer and oatmeal mm. yum ladies love it an idaho breakfast <laughs> <laughs> do you want to smell delicious put this on your body how was that was that good that was real yeah. good they're like no i don't want that anymore <laughs> i'm actually all set no uh no more soap for me um, I, I don't have an intro to this. Tony and Nello's. <laughs> there there know was no crossover. Uh, Tony and Nello's Southern Italian Cuisine and Grill is a hidden gem that's family owned and operated on the outskirts of St. Petersburg at 1136 Pinellas Bayway, South Tierra Verde, Florida. This is a must try for a homemade Italian lunch or dinner. Just remember to bring your appetite because the portions are very generous. Call for a Rails today at 727-867-3577 and check out TonyAndNellos.com. And if you go there, mention the show. You might get a free app or a free Zert. This is not a a promotion, including them, but just do it. Yeah. Just tell them that you've heard it on the show. Just yell Alter Ego out in the middle of the restaurant. Hey, Alter Ego. Woo! What? There's no way that backfires. (laughs) No way in history. If that doesn't work, yell out Cigar City Sports. There you go. Cigar City Sports, yeah. They, they've actually heard of that one. <laughs> Audio Jack. No, no, a lot of people have heard of uh, Alter Ego in Switzerland. Oh. Yeah. Shout out to our Swiss folks if you're listening. There are people in Japan that have listened. Hmm. They're my oh, favorite. start going bilingual? Arigato. Arigato. Oh, now we're just being racist. Why? It's thank <laughs> you in Japanese. <laughs> but you have to do the whole. Oh. Domo arigato. <laughs> 
Why? Because I'm it's not the a... word. It's the oh. I didn't, the I didn't even do that. We just got he did. Canceled. Oh, <laughs> Ryan did it. Ryan set us up for failure. Uh, free pass. They'll, they'll Ryan gets me. a pass. Somebody down there in Japan's going fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> that one will get us in trouble. Okay, let's move but on. You know before what? We, oh, never mind. We can <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, we can circle back. What you got? No, nothing. I was making no, no. up a, a You've segue. You got something. I got nothing. All right, segue me. Go ahead. Uh, shit, I forgot what it was. Wow. Uh, so, uh, you hear any good so- news about comic book movies lately? <laughs> <laughs> We've got some good news today, man. We've got some stuff. I'll just kind of skim through what we got here. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not going to time stamp it because, you know, we're not doing that. Uh, we're talking about Microsoft. Uh, Halo. We're going back to Halo from last week. Virgin Galactic <laughs> Airlines. Uh, something that we're going to have to wait for Megan. Listen, she's not here yet, so she can't hear this, but I'm going to give her five minutes on a topic, and she will take the five minutes up. On Virgin Thanks. Galactic Airlines? No, 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 no. But in the same family of, uh, of news there. Uh, I, this is the new category of news called random shiz, S H I Z, because I had nowhere else to put it, but I didn't want to not talk about it. Stick it in, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Then we got TV news talking about Transformers, uh, Borderlands, John Wick Four, uh, the D and D movie, which I was excited to see news for, and it's actually kind of heavy in DC and Marvel. All right. And then we're going to talk about our Black Ops Death Squads that we created, the Marvel Black Ops Death Squads. Uh, well, it's a black, black ops Mark's, death squad. Uh, Mark and, and Ryan are looking at me like they didn't read the chat. Well, you just wrote, we we're going to talk about black ops. I thought you meant Call of Duty. Wow. <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> so I'm like, like, I'll just sit there and listen. This is going to be fine. fun. This is going to be fun. Um, but yeah, we've got good stuff coming out of DC and Marvel. First time in a while. Really happy to see that. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? We shall. Let's talk about Microsoft first. Microsoft unveiled Windows 11 accidentally oh yeah (laughs) um but that's cool i mean windows 11 new operating system the cool thing about it is the the rumors out there is it's going to be a free upgrade for all windows 10 users so you can upgrade straight to windows 11 is that normally the thing i don't remember i haven't had a windows computer in probably seven or eight years yeah i've i'm operating off of the mac here and i love it but uh, yeah, I how to get released accidentally? Did they tweet it out or put it in a presentation? Or Let something? me see if I can find it. Uh, I do have the news story here. Uh, following lots of teasers, the accidental leak the week before the event, Microsoft officially unveiled. It doesn't say where. Uh, okay. Yeah, it just uh, this was off of IGN, but you know, interesting. Good for them. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't have anything. Actually, my PC runs off of windows, but I rarely touch it. And I want to talk to the gaming community that's on PC right now. The reason I'm not there is because you're all toxic. Every (laughs) single one of you, you all talk are all keyboard warriors that talk a lot of trash and it bothers me. I want to be on PC because that's apparently the best zone for gaming right mm-hmm. that's where you're supposed to be yeah that's where all the elite players are and i jumped in and i was like man i'm excited to finally being playing on pc and it wasn't even having to be directed at me it was just people talking random random shit you know what i mean and it was just i don't know a pain in the ass well now you're just alienating half of our audience so this half? is great i don't know at me boys yeah, fuck them all <laughs> at me let's see me see me on the xbox and then see me on the pc later <laughs> under friendlier circumstances ryan can you help her real quick um oh we were Megan missing is a here chair. she's here she, she brought, brought a chair her seat she brought a chair she brought a drink she brought a bulldog that that's actually classic megan for anybody that knows her this is destructive and this is right before the topic that I'm actually going to have to set a timer for for her. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but it's going to be a fun time. Okay, so uh, the second one for Halo going into their season. Did anybody play Halo Reach? Nope. Nope. No? There's a couple Halo fans out there I know. Reach was their big uh, their big release most recently other than mm-hmm. Halo 5. But their first season is going to be Halo Reach themed. So their first like season... Which we talked about seasons on the E3 episode too. So I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see what that is. I want to see how popular this game ends up being. What? I had to 
I thought my fly was still down. I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry. Did no. it, was that the sound of your fly? Wow. <laughs> no, that's not. It was just as your I was answering. Your jeans have a pop top. <laughs> how, how you doing? Oh, gosh. Today, this week. I'm, I'm great. I hope now. everybody has a very fun, safe 4th of July. Hopefully, you're listening to this before you start getting hammered and lighting off fireworks. If you're here in the U.S., anywhere else, just have a good Monday. Yeah. Enjoy Canada Day. I mean, 4th of yeah. July was technically yesterday, so hopefully you were safe and you've got yeah. all your hands. Nope, we release on Monday. Yeah, yep. oh, that's wait, Sunday. July, the fifth. Sunday. The fifth. Yeah. It's okay, a so hopefully you're recovering. Yeah, yeah you know, and, they're and waiting to hear to this. this first on Monday, and then they start celebrating. That's right. Yeah, they're yeah. Gonna celebrate the uh, observation day. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, we want to set off fireworks not till after alter ego, mom and dad. I'm <laughs> We're sorry. Holding up a lot of family activities. Mom that's and right. Dad. Yeah, no, that's gonna be mom cool. and dads love this show. Uh, so into the random shiz, right? You seem really excited about this. I am excited. And I really want to know where it's going. This one, you're setting news. a timer for me? Yeah. Okay. First I'll one. my mic away. <laughs> first one, Virgin Galactic gets approval to fly their customers into space. Oh, gosh. Fast wow. and Furious style? I love it. If it ain't a Pontiac Fiero, I don't want it. But it's really <laughs> affordable, guys. Like, I'm surprised that they're allowed to do this for yeah, as cheap as they Half a million they dollars. Yeah, half a million half dollars. Half a million dollars. What did you think it was going to cost to Bro, go to space? that's it? I've got <laughs> yeah. that laying under my couch cushion. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> got that at home. That's the lump in the bed. So you'd be <laughs> surprised at how little amount of money that is right yeah it's not a lot it doesn't look like no, no, a no. lot of money volume <laughs> wise like it'd be more impressive but anymore <laughs> if you're carrying around five hundred thousand in cash something is wrong with you do you not know about electronic transfers or wires no, or anything never like heard that? of it come on I'm oh, randy. don't you dare venmo five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> i want randy moss level and if bro. you do you can yeah. venmo it straight cash <laughs> straight cash on me all right so i'm going to get on my phone here oh, and set a timer do I know what this is? I probably you probably know a lot. Here's the thing it. you've never heard of. Five watch, minutes. Watch show. me. Watch me. Like say two words about. Yeah, I was gonna say she doesn't have to fill the five. Listen, minutes. that's right. Five you don't minutes have is to. The cut off. But I'm going to set you a timer for five is there minutes. A new video I have no idea what that's this like is. Like a bulldog simulator or something. Right? Wow, wouldn't that be something? I'd never see her again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at Sprinkle. <laughs> never would I name a dog Sprinkle. Okay. She'd do it. Shh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Little baby cute bulldog. Yeah, if somebody like, was like, you can have this bulldog for free, but you have to name it Sprinkle, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Come on, Sprinkle. I was about to call you out. I thought you were doing another way with that. I'm like, lies. Okay. She's lying. Okay. Oh, I, I got to get to this. I need to know Pull what it this up is. Here. <laughs> I'm, I'm just as interested. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You do, because you're going to go off, because she's not going to want to go too crazy. And an unclassified UFO report. Unable to explain more than 140 aerial phenomena. Why are we talking That's about right, this? ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to let Megan off the hook when it comes to aliens. But and wait, go. Why are we talking about this on the Alter Ego podcast? Because. Do you get alien boners? I didn't know okay. this. She does. It, I mean, it's not quite as bad as you think that it is. Do I think they exist? Absolutely. We all do. Do I think that the government is withholding information from us? They absolutely are. Are the reports that have been released... Uh, super redacted and probably will never be. Yeah, I think we're going to go on forever in our lifetime not knowing that this shit is for real, but this shit is for real. That's all I need to say. I don't really need five minutes. I don't need that much time. What about Nikola <laughs> Tesla being from Venus? I don't know anything about that. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Um, sir, is that a, like a conspiracy theory? Nicola. Is, is that huh? a conspiracy theory? Yeah. Yeah. It's I a mean, lot of stuff coming out. There's a 64 page document that came out yeah, about the, Tesla being from Venus and that a lot of his inventions are, um, are, are were confiscated no, by the are government. Men from Mars. Women are from Mars. So oh. there, were, there were a lot of rumors. He was in dropped off as a baby. In, in regards to Republic. what these UFO or what are they calling them, UAP sightings or whatever, there have been a lot of rumors on what it is. And the preliminary report, which was a nine-page report, which I have not gotten a chance to read, so I will not kind of download everything that has been released so far because I don't know it. But there apparently is information in there debunking that, that it's not like software interference that makes it look like there's stuff so that we're trying to like scare the rest of the world like the united mm -hmm. states isn't you know it's not interference like that it's not inter or it's not um international mm -hmm. not software uh, technology mm -hmm. they these things have been seen with the human eye they move underwater they move through the air completely going against gravity 
and everything that we know about physics. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's, it's pretty incredible. I feel like it's kind of foolish and arrogant to think that we're the only people in this universe. Yeah, This is a massive universe. Like, come on. There's just Ryan. I got a question for you. I forgot my sunglasses at home. Can I borrow yours, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know too much. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. That's right. Do you want aliens to exist? Oh, I already know they do. Okay. I mean, so it's just, it, it'd be crazy to think. I, I see the timer. It's only been two and a half minutes. But I mean, it'd be I crazy. You. Like you said, it'd be crazy to think that we are the only ones it's in the universe. It's arrogant to be like, it is. it's so just us. The question really is. It's our is, hubris We might think. be in a snow globe in a locker somewhere, men yes, in black style. exactly. But like the, the question really, really is, is, if this is what they are, why are they here? Like, basically surveilling us. Because they have been for a very long time. Because we would do the same thing to them Probably if we could. Probably if we knew that they existed. I'm telling you right now. You ever heard of National Geographic? Their <laughs> yeah. technology. All their, the polar bears are like, why are they watching us? <laughs> their technology, their intelligence is leaps and bounds. Like, years and maybe even hundreds worth. Way ahead of us. So, I'm a little, like, it's a little frightening to think that that's the case. Because we don't have the technology and the ability to move and shake the way that they do. I think we're just explaining Independence Day. Yeah, we in are. In the movie. I don't know. It That's seems- what I'm saying. I don't think that that's necessarily the, I mean, who the hell knows? It's not like I have, like, all the aliens on speed dial. But if you did, though, we'd expect you to get them on the show. Yeah. I'll go home I, and ask my buddy We got the exclusive. Absolutely. We would have an Audio Jack episode immediately with some, yeah. with some, uh, some aliens on the, on the guest list. But I don't know. That's all. This is Alter Ego. We shouldn't be talking about this. Why not? Is know. this the uh, the uh, audio kind of Jack nerdy. review episode? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just I just thought it was am, so good. It was on IGN, and I was looking for news stuff to post, yeah, and I okay. saw that and was like, you know what, I we're going for it on the Instagram. So I saw that for the alter ego <laughs> listeners. If you want a deeper dive into this, probably within the next couple of weeks, wow. look out for audio Jack. I'm plugging it. She's calling it because yeah, I'll be a little bit more prepared by then. I'm going to read the preliminary <laughs> report. Hopefully, some more stuff is going to drop, and we're going to talk about it. We might have some other friends on that are um crazy just as crazy <laughs> i want in yeah i'm gonna be high so, you know what everybody we might says, even have like I, several episodes everybody says two things about the alien episode of audio jack they go i want to be in and i want to be high as hell that's you what they what? all say maybe look out for a brand new podcast hosted by yours truly about aliens wow okay and she goes i'm not gonna take a five minutes <laughs> no way I but didn't. i'll start a whole podcast about it <laughs> yeah well, I only took geez. 40 minutes and 37 I've been seconds. I've been keeping my eye on him. Keep my eye on him. All right. All right. So c- congratulations to you. But hey, you I only have took 20 seconds. Four no, minutes no, no. and I have, se- I have 15 seconds to kill. Apparently, even according to the non-redacted stuff, the Congress does not know what it is. That's what they were saying is the case. That they don't truly know what it is. And I the believe Pentagon that. does not know what it is. <laughs> Definitely. Those guys don't know what color socks they're wearing half the time. I, I don't. I don't doubt that they don't know what's up there in the sky. I don't know what. What? Uh, what Some of them don't even know what's going what on in their di- own sectors say, or what, states what sector or, or district cities. do you represent? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> do a good one. I don't know the green one. <laughs> you ever see that episode of South Park? It's like <laughs> it's CNN or Fox. Whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty like, much. That's how the news feels right now. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, let's get into TV and movies. Speaking of aliens. Uh, I can't you called me out like that. Transform- you were right. And <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Aliens. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, I have a tinfoil hat wearing it while we do that podcast. Yeah. Transformers new movie will introduce the Beast Wars mythology. Boo. I wasn't a Beast Wars boy. That was that was after my time. So we're still going to have Optimus Prime yes. and all the, the same guys. Are we going to have Optimus Primal? We are. And they've cool. casted Optimus Primal. Did you know this already when you asked? No. Yeah, they've already casted Optimus Primal. It's not the same guy that normally does the voice? It's Ron Perlman. Oh. oh. Yeah, Ron Perlman's going to be Optimus Primal. Jog my memory. Optimus Primal was a gorilla that turned into was Optimus he a Prime? gorilla? You know, it's always, every time it's, it it's aliens and there's a leader, it's always a lion. And I want yeah. I don't know. Let's, you know what? Let's warm up that Google button, baby. All right, there we Let's go. Let's do it. It's Wait, broken. Hold on. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're ready. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Optimus Primal was created in 1802. Oh, that's early. <laughs> with Nikola Tesla. Uh, they both came from Venus. Oh, geez. Nikola. 
We're going to see some stuff in the news. Or in, in, oh, yeah, he was a gorilla. Good call. Uh, you know, I know a little bit about the formers. The formers. Wait, were you an Autobot or a Decepticon? Oh, Decepticon all day. Ryan? Good cock. Uh, Wait. What? I, you just Autobot. said good cock. Uh, did I? <laughs> yes. Nice dick. I'm an auto cock. <laughs> nice dick. Uh, Autobot or Decepticon? Um, Autobot. Decepticon. Oh, wow. Three Decepticons to one Autobot. I mean, I like being a bad guy too, but. <laughs> All right. They Optimus cool. Primal is a maximal from the Beast era portion of Generation 1 continu- continuity family. Young and untested, Optimus Primal was a mere captain of an exploration ship when he and his crew were diverted off course to pursue a stolen Predacon ship under the leadership of some crook named Megatron. The rest, as they say, is literally history. <laughs> So is this in the Bumblebee universe or the Michael Bay universe? I I don't know. I, it just says that it's getting started. They are introducing that mythology. They didn't say, but it's it's probably going to be the Michael Bay universe. Yeah, Bumblebee's still my favorite one out of all of them. So really, have you seen it? Uh, you uh, I haven't seen PC. Bumblebee, but yeah. I was always a fan of Megatron. Yeah, I no, really I mean the Bumblebee him. movie. Oh, I haven't seen it. Have you seen it, Ryan? No. It's got John Cena. That's all I know. That's right. Barely. He's in it a couple minutes. Ago. Oh, really? But um, it's a really good movie. It was my favorite one out of all of them. Isn't um, Marky Mark Wahlberg in that one, too? Nope. Separate universe. What? Separate yeah, universe. This was, that was a one-off kind of joint. Yeah, right? it was just like a spin-off, huh. separate universe. Is that a prequel? The Bumblebee movie? Yes, it is. Oh. Uh, that's like, no before he meets Shia LaBeouf. Life. Yes. All right. Well, good, good. Good for Shy. Good for the Transformers. Good for the Decepticons. Good for the Beasticons. Good Beast. for everybody. Good job, guys. Yeah. That's, let's hear it for them. Good job. You guys. You. You're the real heroes. Okay. Scarlett Johansson is Who? in TV and movie news. She I wonder is. Why. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Ah is uh, set to star and produce in a Tower of Terror movie. Like the ride? Yeah. Like the ride. Okay. Is it coming? You know, is she doing that here in Orlando? Uh, that'd be really cool. Because I'm going to have to pull up and shoot my shot. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Scarlet. Hey, girl, what up? What that mouth do? Do you oh have my God. Oh, Jesus? Wow. Right out of the I don't, gate. There's literally no way that could fail. So <laughs> we know that Scarlet is yours. And what's what's your uh, uh, hall pass? Do you have one? Oh, Mark? everybody knows mine. We're about to get this man. Everybody knows mine before he's even married. Yeah. We can say it off mic if you want. No, no, no. <laughs> I know yours. Hey, for for years, it was Natalie Portman. Nice. Ah! I, it might be changing now, though. I don't know. Oh. To whom? Know. Who's in second place? Ooh, I like Natalie Portman, but. I don't know. Even though you audibly gagged on the mic? I know. <laughs> Damn! I like her in certain things. I don't like her in other things. I'm excited for her to be in. I'm trying to think of somebody in the MCU that could qualify. Wow. I mean, they're all. Well, hers is in the MCU. League. Mine is obviously in the MCU. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll take yours? a wild guess and say it's Chris Hemsworth. It's Mark Ruffalo. Um, no. <laughs> I'd fuck no, Mark it's Ruffalo. Definitely, <laughs> it's definitely, it's definitely Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I actually think I just said yesterday I was talking about your hall pass. Yeah. And mine came up and everybody else's came up. I don't even remember what everybody else's was. But I said, yeah, if I was ever caught in an elevator with Chris Hemsworth, he wouldn't know what was coming. You'd shoot the shot. <laughs> I'd shoot the shot. I would. Uh, what I that would, mouth do, though? I would definitely call <laughs> Megan. Some of these and clothes say, just fell off. Yeah. Honey, it's, uh, it's that day. <laughs> uh, Sandra finally it's came to her senses. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Sandra Bullock, we're gonna take a take a cruise. I'll never see you again. Thanks yeah. for nothing. I'm going to the Mediterranean. Well, <laughs> I, I might look. I might look at Chris and be like, "So the doctors say I have 48 hours to live." <laughs> <laughs> I like how you want to fuck him in an elevator, and you want to go on vacation with her. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean, you know, I don't need to like marry him, but. Jack, Jack loves romance. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to take that was you to. very polar opposite of like the stereotypes <laughs> know, of men and women. Flipped. <laughs> it was. Hey, I, I, Sandra, I want to take Bullock, you to. We're, we're going to Mykonos. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Sandra Bullock, you're taking your time. I get Sandra and go, hey, I want to take you to Tony Anello's Southern Italian <laughs> Cuisine and Grill, which is family owned and operated. <laughs> really? Is she'd it a jewel? Like, she'd look at me like, damn, he, he reads a commercial. <laughs> All right, let's move on. 
uh, the Borderlands movie that we just recently talked about that mm-hmm. was in production. We were all like, oh, cool, it's in production. They've already wrapped filming. It's done. All right, two weeks, they're done. That's yeah. a good sign. I don't know if that's good or bad or if it's a lot of CGI and not it's a lot probably of film. All, it was probably all in front of green screen. That's why. Mm. They probably didn't have any full sets for that, which seeing what kind of thing it is. I did. But it's a wasteland slash outer space, so I don't know which one we're going to get. I mean, you look at uh, like a Mad Max, that's all filmed in the desert, or you look at like a Mandalorian, which is still all desert, but filmed in front of a green screen. Mm. That fancy new green screen tracking technology thing they got. The tracking is good. The yeah. tracking is good. But I'm interested to see that. I just want to see Jack Black and Kevin Hart. Everything else. Okay, well, let's see what that's you got. That's who's in it? Yeah. Oh, my God. They're not the main leads, mm-hmm. but they pl- both play characters in the and movie. Jamie Lee Curtis? Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, yeah. So this is like the Deadpool of video game things, right? Kind of. I've never played it. I've only ever seen the cover. Kind of, sort of. It's very funny. It knows what it is, right? It knows it's a looter shooter. Uh, Is it too funny? Like... No, where they're just making corny ass jokes the entire time. Yeah. All right. In the most recent one that I played, Borderlands 3, it was a lot of just humor. Yeah. I was like, okay. Like, it's not even clever. They're just yelling things at me. But I'm like, all right, I know what this is. Okay. Uh, Oh, here's one for Ryan. John Wick 4 has started filming. Yay. Yeah, he's got an I think his pit bull got its head chopped off in three. How dare you? No, I'm kidding. I don't know that. You've never seen those movies? I haven't seen three. I've seen one and two. Well, you've kind of seen three. This would probably get rewritten if that happened. What? Thanos wouldn't exist in the MCU. John Wick would just kill everybody. Oh, if Earth the, would be done. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. John Wick is an interesting movie, and you know, I, I just kind of like how it's 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 serving the action fans out there in yeah. the universe, right? The people that want to see you know, the, the crazy gunfights and the martial arts and the ridiculous stunts. Go to John Wick. He'll take care of you. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm, I wanted to get it. I wanted to do an all action movie summer. That was my idea. I'm going to watch all the action movies. So I started with um, Robert Lamb's recommendation. I started with the um, Daniel Craig Bond movies that I, I've never seen. I stopped yeah. at Pierce Brosnan. Don't don't listen. They're to Robert fine, Lamb. man. They're 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 fine. I love John Wick. Yeah, I like John Wick is way up here. Yeah, Daniel Craig Bond movies are like, hmm, yeah. you know, the there's a lot more story <laughs> to the John Wick or to the to the uh, James Bond movies. Is there? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there is. I'm watching. I'm like, and it's a uh, deeper universe. It's a spy thriller, not so much straight action. But I agree with. Uh, uh, ryan on that one don't trust robert lamb when it comes to just uh action rob i love you buddy See, you're, you're one arm, of my best buds but when it comes to action you are too artsy to 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 judge yeah, that one i can see that and but he lives in a garage <laughs> in a he has garage. nothing to lose he lives in a garage <laughs> but i usually our his and i movie likes kind of a line but on this one i'm yeah. just like i'm not seeing it man like the i first love the one. brosnan ones those are great yeah i did too but I like those a lot. That's where I fell off. Boris. I am invincible. <laughs> the first Craig movie when he pops out and he's doing the whole fight scene in the bathroom. That was great. They but both have. Okay. So, so I watched the first two in that series and they both have really good opening scenes. But then it's just. And that's it. That's it. That's all you get yep. out of the James Bond movie. It's like huh. really good out of the gate and then just. Beep. I'm ready for Henry Cavill as Highlander. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. We're hearing you, okay? Uh, So, speaking of high adrenaline action, Indiana Jones 5, Harrison Ford, who's how old? He's like a thousand years old. He's playing one of the actual things stuck in the wall now. He hurt himself. He's injured himself in a fight scene rehearsal. On this set? (laughs) Yeah. He's hurt himself on like the last two movies in a row that he worked on. Harrison, Harrison, buddy. Get a stunt double, please. You broke your leg filming Star Wars. Yep, yep, on the mechanical sliding door. Yeah, a door broke your leg. And now he's uh, he's fighting stuntmen at 90,000 years old. Oh, my God. And so they have not stopped production. They are filming around him being hurt. So they're just doing panning shots of the desert for Gotta a month be. and a half. Got to be. Indiana Jones and the Golden Walker. Indiana Jones. <laughs> God. Indiana Jones and the Cavern of AARP. <laughs> he, he's got a that's the limp of doom. Indiana Jones and the Cradle of Life Alert. <laughs> oh my gosh! I've fallen and, and I, I can't, can't whip up. up. Oh gosh! <laughs> 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 da, da, da. 
I want to have that's where his life alert bla- bracelet plays when he presses yeah. on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, uh, Indiana Jones. Very can we, pixelated. Yeah, can we find our heir apparent to Indiana Jones if we're going to have one? Yeah, you're getting it. It was supposed to be Chris Pratt. No, it wasn't. It was supposed to be uh, Shia LaBeouf. Well, no, Shia like, LaBeouf is his son. There were initial talks of making Chris Pratt the new Indiana Jones, like rebooting the whole thing. Yeah. Better than 172-year-old Harrison Ford breaking his leg. It, it is, but for me, I think Chris Pratt, I, I, I like the guy. I think he's great in Guardians, and I, I, some of his decisions for movies, I'm like, eh, I Did don't you see know the one I'm where he's alone in space with what's-her-name? Jennifer uh, Lawrence? Yes. I did not. Oof. Good movie? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Mark's oof was, it, was a, was it a looked, no-go. The trailer looks so good. But this Tomorrow War, I'm just kind of like, that's I don't. A, that's a COVID payout right there. He's like, I need some money. I'm not working this year. I don't know what's going on with that, but I, I don't know. I, I love him as an actor, and I think he was good in Jurassic Park as a reboot. But now you got Jurassic Park, you're in Marvel, and you want to do Indiana Jones. It's a little much. It's a little much. It's a little much Pratt. Don't forget about the Tomorrow War. Yeah. Straight to Amazon Prime. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen. We all know him. Yes. Yep. This one I kind of went off on a tirade on because it kind of pisses me off. Oh, no. Mads Mikkelsen has come out and said he really wishes he could have talked to Johnny Depp about playing Grindelwald. I really don't know if I know a lot about the character. Here's what here's his exact quote. I don't know if it was fair him losing the job, but I just knew that the show was going on, and I would have loved to give it a chance to talk to him if I had the chance, but I just don't know him in that sense. I'm like, dude, why? Why yeah. do you need to talk to Johnny Depp about Grindelwald? Johnny Depp is there for a paycheck, dude. Yeah, I haven't seen any of these movies. Like, so I, no I, I get movie. it. I get it. I mean, do you just want to talk to Johnny Depp? Because you could probably f- figure that out. <laughs> That's the period on the sentence. I just wanted to talk to Johnny Depp. Right. <laughs> and what do you want to talk to him and say you're sorry that you're taking the role? Because you're taking it. Because he didn't he take the role in... Um, he took the role from Paul Bettany in the Road 1, didn't he? Was uh, Paul no, Bettany the Paul year? Bettany is in Rogue One. No. Yes, he is. Oh, is not he? in Rogue One. He's in... Um, uh, he's Avengers. in uh, he's no, in he's Avengers. in Solo. Yeah, he's the bad guy in Solo. Okay, uh, but I didn't know if Mads Mikkelsen. Mads took it Mikkelsen from... was the bad guy in Road One, wasn't he? Yeah, no, he was uh, Jyn Erso's dad. Okay, maybe I'm all messed yeah. up because yeah. they did a last minute casting swap. Because, yeah, because there's a conflict. And but he these jumped guys, in like, at last it, minute. to me, it's like, what do you want to talk to him about? You want to learn about how to play a wizard? call him because johnny doesn't know magic you know that right I, look at me mads i need you to tell me you he, know johnny depp doesn't really know magic maybe he does maybe yeah. he's really a wizard i mean like he might be is, is <laughs> no. johnny depp gonna be a like, wizard it's johnny depp is johnny depp gonna be like i can't believe the hogwarts universe dropped me and this guy decided to play my character now i'm gonna have him blackballed for trying to get a job i don't know i just think it's actors trying to scratch each other's uh <clears throat> Uh, yeah. Back, back, back. That's the word I was looking for. Well, he maybe this is because eight thousand Johnny Depp fans are tweeting him every day, screaming at him. Yeah. Why did you do this? Why did you take this job away? I'm trying to bang it's not Victoria's Johnny's Secret fault, models, bro. <laughs> I got just, things to do. Yeah, exactly. Like your movies. All these actors are out here, like, uh, yeah, Johnny's out. Do you need somebody? Yeah, I'll do it. I heard Flow Harry from Progressive Potter audition. <laughs> oh wow. I heard the Gecko from Geico audition. The Geico Gecko? Yes. Wow. I don't know, man. I heard the Smalls generals? from the original know. Sandlot. He uh, <laughs> he auditioned. I was trying to think of more uh, car insurance. Uh, car insurance. <laughs> the general. <laughs> the general. Limu Emu and Doug auditioned. Oh, wow. Oh, Trash. I don't think Limu Emu and Doug are qualified for Limu Emu and Doug commercials. <laughs> I've never part? known he, he had a name, so... Learn it's what they I... say at the very beginning of I every don't... single commercial. Can I just see an emu. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Uh, okay. Uh, they have released <laughs> new uh, shots from the set of the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Yay! Mm. And I they show wait. Justice Smith, who was from Detective Pikachu. He was the one who accompanied Pikachu the whole time. Oh, I like that guy. Mm-hmm. I did too. Did catch man. him? No, he wasn't Ash. Oh. Substitute Ash. Um, yeah, what that Ash do? Oh my um, gosh. <laughs> he catches them all. 
Yeah, he catches them all. Um, Michelle Rodriguez. Okay. Mm. Chris Pine. Yay. Yeah. Uh, I like and, Chris Pine. I like Chris Pine. I love Chris Pine. I like Michelle and, um, uh Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. As the wizard master. So I thought it would be interesting, there you go, to try to pick what class these guys are going to play mm. yes. in the movie. Chris Pine is classless. Chris Pine. <laughs> classless. I see Chris Pine if he's a good guy. Noob. I don't know what. So here's another thing that we we saw. I think we talked about this too. I would love to see all of the people they interact with played by the same guy, who's essentially the dungeon master, who plays everyone. Oh yeah, I think you talked oh, about this that last would be time. Really funny. And I want to see a character die and then come back the next day with just like a small name change, <laughs> same yeah. backstory. That would be total fan service, but I don't mm-hmm. know. It'd be interesting to There's see. There's going to be at least one every video game or board game whatever movie needs at least one reference yeah, like that like a, like, sure. a Deep like a john with the h or without the h that's the only <laughs> difference yeah. same exact character oh it's jahan same background jahan jahan <laughs> oh wait um, who are you john yeah because the other one died you look really familiar yeah. no i don't Mm-mm. i never don't know you people you never seen me before in your life but then they start conversation and he jumps right in like he <laughs> knows what's going on <laughs> all right so this is what i was thinking yeah um, I don't so know classes. So what I'm do we think, Michelle? Off of this one. Then you can just you kind of comment on what we think here, then, okay. because we play every week. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Michelle Rodriguez? Um, Honda Civic. Honda Civic. Uh, it's a good class. I really liked your idea in the comments of her, yeah. only because I saw the images from the sh- from the um, the shooting. Mm-hmm. Not like the. So they're on like a really <laughs> badass. They're on a really badass looking dragon boat. Oh, it's cool. like black leather. It looks really cool. Um, so this is big budget, huh? E- well, it's big enough to get Chris Pr- uh, Chris Pine and uh, Michelle Rodriguez, and Hugh Grant, and have Hugh we, Grant. Have, have we seen or heard or read anything about the depths of the universe that they're? No. Oh, okay. I would. We. Really, I haven't. I would really like to see her as like an Asimar rogue. Hmm. Oh, I wasn't going into race. I don't know what they do with that. I but know. I'd, I'd say being a rogue, oh, being she somebody who could Well, she ha- <laughs> she has like the way that it looks. Is it? Does, does she have face paint on? No, she has glasses on and up. Oh, yeah, she's still. I might have looked at a different, in a completely different yeah. article. So she's a blind nerd. But, but I think Justice, I like the rogue idea. Yeah, and I think Justice Smith would do good as a bard, <laughs> the car, the class that really doesn't do a lot of combat, but just mm-hmm. walks around and talks. Seems about right. Or maybe he does magic. I don't know. What about Chris Pine? Uh, I imagine him having a sword and a shield at some point, maybe don't you? A, maybe yeah. a paladin. I was going to say um, the same thing. If not a paladin, I honestly, I don't know, because I've seen some clips from like images that have been taken, and mm. he reminds me a lot of Caleb from Critical Role. There you go. Who's like a wizard? A wizard. Uh, what about Hugh Grant? Is he the you think he's going to clap those cheeks? Is he? Nah. Um, Do you think Hugh Grant is going to be the warlock that claps those cheeks, Ryan? Nah, Hugh Grant ain't got to like that. Not no is more. It, what? Is, <laughs> oh yeah, he do. His, <laughs> do you know? He, what all his, he has to do is fumble into a conversation. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. Hugh Grant and ladies are like, uh, hi. Do you know what his? Is he the dungeon master or is he a? I don't good know guy, bad who's guy? what. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I just knew he's Hugh Grant. He's the black maybe, leather boat. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he's like a cleric. Uh, I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. If he's that's a cleric what I'm saying. And he's a bad guy. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh, he's a mm. he's a death domain necromancy cleric. That's what uh, I'm playing this gross. weekend. Wow. Ooh, got a lot of nerd in here. Yeah, he did all hyped <laughs> up over there. She's even that, going to is, sound like. Hold this. on, hold on, hold on. No, she's not. Sixty-four something episodes in. That's what cued it off. I was actually having played Dungeons and Dragons in this room. Well, and you're like, ah, oh, that's a little nerdy. <laughs> that's where oh, all the shit that we've talked about. <laughs> that's where I call it quits. All right. Um, why don't we go ahead and take a quick commercial break and we will get into uh, DC and Marvel. Oh. Shall we? Let's get into it. Shall we? After the break. Shall. Let's take a little break, Rue, and we'll be right back. Be Stick right with back. us. We'll see you in a minute. Got to drink that water. And we're back to the <laughs> Alter Ego Podcast. I'm your host, Jack Austin. With me still is Mr. Mark, Mr. Ryan, and Miss Megan. How are what you? Up? So before you dive into this, um, we let somebody go scot-free on their hall pass. He never gave us a name. Oh, that's right. Marcus. Oh, 
I said Natalie Portman, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That but might, you said that, that there might was be a little else. dated. Um, you said wow. there was somebody else in the works. Shh. There, there's got to be in the works. I was trying to think of somebody in the MCU. MC Universe. Yeah, let me look around this room. Hold on, real quick. Wow, look at all. Look this, at the Funkos and that, remember who's in the. That wall's better. Uh, yeah, that wall's better over, over there. there. That wall's better. Okay, who do we got? Yeah, mm-hmm. not much. Mm-hmm. Got Jessica Jones over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's grown on me a little she, bit. Well, she kind of looks like she's been punched in the face fifty-five. There times. was Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> There's Halle Berry. Might be Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson, two for two on that Ooh, side of the room. So oh, is that yours too? Actually, my, I don't even know who mine is anymore. Wow. There's so many. Too many. <laughs> hey, rein it in. Rein it in, Ryan. <laughs> hey. Your wife might be listening. Mine used to be Gerard Butler, and if then they're Thor hot happened. and they're famous. I'm going for a it. A long time ago, mine was Sandra Bullock, and it's now Sandra Bullock. Yep. Still. So at least, at least you're loyal. Actually, you know who I'm kind of obsessed with? Darcy. Oh, Dennings. God. <laughs> get out of here. Wow. Two broke girls? Come on. I yeah. mean, oh, oh, the, the only the other one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. She's or on that list too. Zazzy Beats. I really yeah. like Zazzy Beats. She wow. can get it too. You know who's well. an honorable mention? Uh, Gamora. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 It's more her attitude, right? And her yeah. confidence and how much she kicks ass. Mine, Karen my, Gillian, who plays Nebula's. Up my there alternative too. is Sebastian Stan. Absolutely. He's wow. my alternative. Winter too. Soldier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's wow. long hair or short hair? Uh, I kind of like the short, but I like the, I like the Winter Soldier. <laughs> I like the Winter Soldier. You like the eyeliner? Yeah. The eyeliner. Yeah. Wow. And when it's like the hairs in his face and he's got the little mask on. Yeah. She's into brooding. I like it. Yeah. Don't I like it. that arm. Yeah. Of course Sebastian she is. Stan is up there. Faux show. So when I get that metal arm, it'll finally That arm has a bunch off. of settings on it, so we're good to go. <laughs> oh, <Hey-o>. baby. <laughs> Let's see what I can do with this. Beep, beep, I boop, put this boop, arm boop, on boop. flambe. <laughs> All right, back to the whatever we were doing. Yeah. Did, Sorry. Hold on, real quick. Did anybody else watch MODOK, or am I still the only You're one? You're still only the only one. one. It's so funny. It's so stupid. You're still and the pointless. only one. Watch it. Watch MODOK on Hulu. Let <laughs> <laughs> Oswald. Nice, Come on, people. Nice Thank you. rhyme Thank scheme you. there. Oh, with a clapping. Oh. Oh, oh now we're just fishing for. Okay, there. <laughs> we'll turn it down. Everybody clap for Megan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're enough of that. I thought you almost said nice rhyme scheme. No, it is like, being disgusted. <laughs> I did say rhyme scheme. No, I, I think it's a rhyme, rhyme ski. S K I. Oh, 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 like oh, nice oh. rhyme ski, bro. That's <laughs> rhyme ski, dude. Let's, let's go down, down to the, to the boardwalk. Let's go down to the boardwalk, dude. Get some avocado, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some locally sourced corn chips and then hit the wives out on the batch. On the butt. The batch. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, so DC news. Let's jump right in, shall we? Did we all see that the Shazam family got "quote unquote" Redressed. new uh, uniforms? Just like higher them. budget costumes. They just got higher budget, darker toned costumes. <laughs> That's all it is. Why are we freaking out? I don't. This know. is okay. Okay, you want to know exactly what it is? It's Power Rangers to Power Rangers Two. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When their uniforms were looking like the TV show in the first movie, and in the second one, they just look a little bit sleeker, just a little bit darker, except for the Black Ranger. His was still black, but everyone else has got just a hair darker. Mm -hmm. And then they brought in the White Ranger. What's with that? They should have brought in the Green Ranger. (laughs) Go, Green Ranger, go. Tommy Green Ranger was my favorite of the Rangers that's not named the Black Ranger. Zach. Okay. Uh, did we see that though? What? Kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I mean they look good. Yeah. Did you I guys like see them. Shazam? Yeah, I yeah, finally, you watched finally, finally saw Shazam. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was good. Zachary Levi was really good. He's an American treasure, isn't he? He is he American? Oh, I don't know. He lives here now, so he's all I know is <laughs> he did a fantastic job playing that character. I really liked him. I can see why Shazam was such a good movie, and it's all because of him. It was a light spot in the DC universe. Yeah, he was he was really really good in that one, um, and I'm excited for Fury of the Gods, and I think we see Dwayne show up in that one. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's how we're doing oh, it. Shazam, baby. All right, Aquaman two mm-hmm. has got a new working title. A new working title. Yeah, or has an, had an old working title in the film that they the showed Lost. of, uh, yeah, Lost Kingdom. So did they change it? But they were operating under the name Nerkus, N-E-R-C-U-S. 
What is that? I don't know, but they showed it in like an ice cave. And they were like, Aquaman 2 has begun filming. I was like, oh, dope. Cool. I don't know why that name was that, chosen or if it'll come back to anything. Is that like the fake filming name where they say, oh, we're filming a movie called... Blue Harvest, but it's really Star Wars. So they'll use fake times all the t- fake names all the time. Yeah, and it, fake names, fake characters, and you know the, yeah. only the producers who are paying for it know what movie they're producing. <laughs> um, which I think is the way to go. I like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm excited to see what Aquaman two brings to the table. There's still a discussion of a Nightwing movie, and the director came out and said, "Well, they didn't tell me to not make it, so I don't know." He just shows up with a camera one day. He's like, all right, we're what? doing this. He's like, hey, you want to be Nightwing? Somebody at a Wawa. <laughs> I told him, no, I passed up on it. Yeah? yeah. Well, why did you pass up on it? I just didn't want to do it. The it's, shooting it's schedule. DC, He's not know. a spandex kind of guy. I tell you what, they come to me tomorrow and be like, Jack, you're playing a guy who works the cash register in this Marvel or DC movie. I'm like, all right, I'm in. <laughs> What's my backstory? Once I get to oh, have somebody, they got to do a flip. I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> Do a flip, hey, Spider-Man. do a flip, Spider-Man. <laughs> so good. Do a flip. <laughs> All right. So here was the big news I felt from DC. Mm-hmm. Was the new trailer drop for Suicide Squad. <gasps> yeah. Did you watch this one? I did because you sent it to me. What would you think? I loved it. It looks so good. And I, at this point of what we've seen, don't know who's going to live or die. Could be anybody. I have a feeling the rat girl is going to die for sure. Okay. Uh, rat catcher too. Rat catcher, yeah. Oh, no. I think she's going to die. I I don't know if John Cena is going to die, but I part of me thinks he will. I, I think know. he's going to die, and then they're going to do the HBO series. It'll be kind of a prequel series. Maybe. <sighs> Maybe. I'd be interested in a not prequel series too. Yeah. Okay. That one I will be watching. Yeah. It's HBO. Day one. Yeah. So. Of the Suicide Squad, the news that has come out from that is just like we talked about Aquaman having a new working title. Idris Elba's character was keep secret from kept secret from everyone on on set on everything, even on his chair. They just called him the Vigilante. Mm. Yeah, and he's Bloodsport. Yeah, in the movie, and they finally really real you know released in the trailer why he's a threat at all. Like, oh, they put Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite bullet. And then all these trolls came on and were like, that's not real. <laughs> that and then happened James in the Gunn, comics. Then James Gunn responded with the panel from when it happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did. Here you go. You fucking nerds. <laughs> I love when people go at James Gunn like that. He's like, I've been through some shit. You're not going to shake me. And they've said that this film actually does take place in the DCU. Huh. What DCU? Yeah. yeah, right. So I think the one where Flash is around, the the most recent Snyder cut, I think that's still our DCU, whether you like it or not. Ugh. I want that Flash, though. So who do we think is going to be taking over, uh, or, or I guess coming over from Suicide Squad to the regular? Well, I don't actually, I, that's a tough question. I'm pretty think, I think as of right now, the only said in stone character is going to be Jason Momoa and probably Zachary Levi. Sure. Harley Quinn comes over. Harley Quinn. Yeah. Um, what is her name? Margot Robbie. Mm-hmm. She's going to be one. I actually think Rick flag might die in this one. Yeah. Who's that? Maybe early too. Yeah. Who's Rick flag? The, the military guy from the first suicide squad. Oh, movie. Okay. Yeah. 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 I Dry as toast. I think Idris Elba might die. Huh? So, oh, you said die. Yeah. Oh, I could see Idris Elba going, I'll do one of these. Yeah. I don't want to see King Shark die. I no. think he lives. As crazy as he is, I Depends think he lives. Depends on how expensive that CGI is. Yeah. Um, I, I'm i pretty sure Pokemon, Polka Dot Man is dead. I thought you were about to say Pokemon, Pokemon Man. I think Polka Dot like, Man yeah. is the one who's going to make it. No. He's the one who's going to make it. He's not. He's going to die. <laughs> They released that cut where he's going, I'm a superhero. He's going to die right up. after that. Uh, and Harley Quinn, I don't see her dying no. at all. She's Everybody too, she's way too talented. lucrative of a commodity to, to not die. But imagine if they killed her in the first 30 seconds. Mm. Oh, Holy shit. Oh, the best scene from the second trailer. It's You're looking after Codename Starfish. And then John Cena raises his hand and goes, 
Starfish is code word for a butthole. Think there's any correlation? <laughs> she goes, no. And he goes, no. <laughs> if you haven't seen this He's gonna trailer, be so good in this. <laughs> it's going to be so good. If the whole beach was covered in dicks and I had eat every single one of them for liberty, I'd say no problemo. I just feel like that's John Cena. I don't know why. I just feel like it's him. Yeah. He Good goes, for him. I love liberty with all my heart. doesn't matter how many wi- men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. <laughs> Damn, John! <laughs> I have a feeling he is going to be a fan favorite from that movie. Oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, all right, that's what I got for DC. I thought that was pretty good. They had some new filming, some new movement going on. Uh, clearly, uh, Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, has been filming. Uh, we also got Aquaman, who started filming, and Suicide Squad's post-production. That's getting ready to, to drop. Yeah. Surprise, so, it's not done. Let's do it. It's got to be done. It's yeah, because it be got done. pushed back, too. Yeah. So um, let's move on to Marvel news, shall we? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, there's a new comic cover coming out showing a new Captain America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Miles Morales. Say what? Is in the red, white, and blue carrying the shield. Okay. Is that a little OP or what? Uh, super OP. <laughs> the I mean- invisible electrical Spider Man who now has the vibranium shield. So is this a variant cover or is this like a. <laughs> A, a storyline. I believe it's a storyline, but let me confirm that for you. Excuse me. You're excused, bud. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ryan's real upset. I don't know. It just says it's going we'll to be on out. a new uh, I mean, Marvel comic book Peter cover. Parker's been Captain America before. Has he? And just in only on like um. If you're on our cover. Instagram, you definitely should check it out. Instagram.com. It's cool looking. Uh, at Alter Ego Pod. So go check that one out. That one's going to be a good one. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's interesting. Oh, Wakanda forever has started production is right. Uh, Feige already came out and said, you know, we're starting production and we're going to try to do it in a way to honor Chad and it's just time to move forward with it. All right. So make a badass movie. See, it's already in Atlanta started filming. They're, they're doing their thing. Tyler Perry's got his ranch opened up. Let's see what we got going on with that one. Okay. Black Panther. Loki. This is kind of a Loki slash other stuff. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Loki? Are you caught up with Loki? I am caught up as I am not. However, I know what you're about to say. One episode back. No, you don't. Uh, Ryan, are you caught up? Not a minute, probably. Ryan, you're not caught up? No, I've been on vacation, bro. Are you not caught up with Loki? You've been on vacation for a month? No, just last week. I I mean, last week and uh, yesterday. Have you seen any of it? Yeah, I've seen the first two. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I actually watched them week by week. I just went on vacation last week. Sue me. Okay, I'll see you in court. <laughs> uh, <sue me>. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in court. I'll see my attorney, and then um, I'll see you in court. Uh, he said I can do it. I have video. Re- okay, so the Loki writer has come out to talk about Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, says that the Doctor sequel Strange will explore the Marvel magician's trauma. I was like, okay. The, the, wait, the Doctor Sequel Strange or the wait, Doctor Strange Sequel? Wait, I think the same guy What did writing, I say? You said Doctor Sequel Strange. Doctor Strange Sequel. <laughs> Doctor Sequel Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Um, Doctor Sequel Strange. Steven Sequel. Is this like a whole new character? Yes. So yes, I think it it's is. the same guy writing both. And yeah. it's a Rick and Morty writer. He said, um, I don't know if it is. Pretty sure. He said, how can you go deeper into the character of Stephen Strange? This is a guy who's been through a lot in the last several years. Waldron, Waldron, whoever Waldron is, that's not the Dan Harmon who did Rick and Morty. No, no, it's not the creator, but it's one of the writers ah. that did some of the best episodes. So not the one that wrote the community. And, and no. what effect does all of that have on somebody so powerful? That's exciting. And beyond all that, he's just a great adventurer, a great adventurer hero. You just like to watch kick ass. And that's true. I like to watch Dr. Strange, get his hands dirty and kick some ass. I want to see some firecracker Kung Fu. Yeah. And, oh, do it. did we also see that they have changed the end of WandaVision? What? I'm sorry. Oh, hi, guys. They changed Nobody informed the, me. the end credit scene of WandaVision. To yeah. what? It's a completely different set of trees, but it's the same shot. And in that shot, there is a blur on the screen that looks like 
a translucent Doctor Strange floating down through the mountains. What the? F- Nobody told me. Yeah. Uh, very exciting. So somebody stuff. rewatched this for the fifth time, and they're like, "Somebody Wait a was Those rewatching trees are it." Different. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Jesus. Christ. Somebody went down there and was like. You know what? Something's different about the fog in these trees. <laughs> and that's exactly what's different in the shot. Jesus. It's a little less vibrant. And they're like, is this possibly something to do with what's happening in Loki? Is that Doctor Strange? Is it Mephisto? Stop yelling at me. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I don't know, man. They they have officially gone in and changed it because they had the original shot from YouTube. Mm. And, and you can side see side. the big difference. Wow. See, now that it's on Disney Plus, you can just go back and change things whenever you want. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. nobody's mm-hmm. the wiser. Until you bring it up on a podcast. Oh, yeah. Mickey, you bastard. Until now, everybody knows. Yeah. Um, 28 listeners. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Per so, minute. oh, and uh, so we have watched uh, Loki. Yes. I have not. I am all caught up. There is a random. There's a random quote in Loki about three specific races that they have dealt with. Oh, I know what this is. And I'm yes. not going to say That's who says the one. it. That's the one I was talking about. That's the spoiler. Oh, yes. It and says, I'm very excited about. We've it. dealt with Kree, Titans, vampires. Like <gasps> vampires, you say. First of all, they're gonna say Cree. We you haven't seen the Cree yet. Oh, we have. Yes, we have. We've seen the Cree, but we haven't seen. Ah, never mind. Like the big ass, you know, ancestral war machines that were the Cree. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we just talk about for a second the vampires? Actor, oh. Like the the image that fell with that spoiler for Mah- Mahashala Ali. Yeah, the one that's on her. Instagram. There's a there's a fan generated picture of Mahershala Ali it looking looks like and so that good. guy needs to be hired to help with this because it's so good. I, I am excited to see Mahershala. He Probably. looks so good as Blade. Mm-hmm. You can't get hired so for good. something that's never going to happen. You know, Ooh. Ryan is a is just well. A there's doubt. somebody sucking the energy out of the room right over their corner pocket. <laughs> All that positivity is just gone. I'm just saying. How long have they been trying to say he's going to play Blade? Well, it's still in production. You know how the MCU does things. The, the problem with the success of the MCU right now is all these wonderful plans are laid, and they're so far out. Like, the roadmap is so far down the road that you hear that, and you go, oh, that's cool. They're like, yeah, that is cool in five years. Yeah. And then they acquire Fox, and right. then Everything changes. all the plans are... I still think we're going to see a much darker version of the mcu i think they go to hell they do all kinds of crazy stuff they they're gonna have to it's gonna be exciting we've dealt with space now let's deal with something interdimensional i don't know Mm -hmm. but anyway episode four of loki if you haven't watched it there is a mid credit scene do not go anywhere stick around watch it by the way i gotta talk about ign real quick ign.com they came out, and this was their review of episode four. Lo- and you've seen it, so you'll probably agree with me right away. Loki's fourth entry jogs in place. The story grinds to a halt so it can retread and speed through character beats and the plot. Ironically, begins to feel as det- deterministic as the timekeepers, leaving little room for tension or possibility. What? Who hurt this guy? Like, what? what is what's his fucking problem? What were you watching? Oh my god! Because I was watching this show and going, "Damn, this is the best yeah. one!" Yeah. See, okay, since okay, I really enjoyed episode four. Yeah. I really enjoyed episode one. Yeah. Two and th- three, especially, dragged a little bit for me. Three dragged a little bit for but me. But like, for sure. how are you going to start shitting on it now when it's on that upward spin? Yeah. I just don't understand why you would shit on this one in particular. Because everybody else is freaking out, and some people just have to be contrary. The second one, I can't say anything bad about it. I loved that episode. I thought it was very good. Loki, uh, Morbius working together. It yeah. was really cool. Mobius? What did I say? Morbius? Mobius. The living vampire. Mobius. 
<laughs> oh man, this thing took a turn. Spoiler yeah. alert. No, just, yeah, Loki. And, spoilers. Yeah, I couldn't believe when Iron Man showed up. It was really <laughs> incredible. All right, I'm not even going to go home and watch it. <laughs> Uh, no, that was good. Uh, I'm excited to see that. Oh, and the big trailer release for Shang Chi came out, and it dropped a lot more stuff. Lots of stuff. It it picked up the hype train. Did for me. We got to see a dragon. Mm-hmm. We got to actually see the Ten Rings mm-hmm. in action. Oh yeah. We got to see Abomination fighting Wong. Wong? What the. <laughs> from the Stephen Strange I, universe? I rewound it like four times. I'm like, is that Wong? <laughs> and then Feige came out and was like, yep, that's Abomination and Wong fighting in a pit. I'm like, yo, Wong, you were a librarian. Look how far you've come. <laughs> <laughs> how many prelims did you have to win to fight Abomination? He's fighting Abomination at Mortal Kombat. It's crazy. And let me tell you something. If Abomination is showing up still, that to me says that Hulk is not done for one. And if he's not done, there's got to be more Hulk villains. Oh, I don't yeah. think that Ruffalo wants to be done with Hulk as much as the rumors say that he is. I don't think he wants to be done with Hulk. I just think the fact that they can't do a Hulk movie is a little detrimental. But they got the She-Hulk series coming. They could have a Hulk series. It is very interesting to me that they can't do a Hulk movie because I think it's a company in Germany that still owns the rights to a solo Hulk Oh, movie. I thought it was Universal that did because they did the, yeah, I was gonna say, the last one. got to look this up one day. Yeah, uh, but I think it is it's a company in Germany that owns the rights to the solo Hulk movie. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. All right, here we go. Well, for the second time. Whoa, two times in an episode. The Incredible Hulk movie rights. <laughs> it's owned by IKEA. <laughs> oh, I take that back. Yourself. You're right. Universal. I was say, I thought it was Universal. They Universal, uh, the rights to a standalone Hulk movie belong to Universal, who released the 2003 film starring Eric Bana and the 2008 version with Edward Norton in the lead role. Universal could have a German office, so. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Hair Universal. We own the rights to the Hulk, and you will not see him again, okay? Thank you. Is, is that how they answer the phone in Universal? That's it. Yeah. We own the rights to the Hulk movie. Good and talk Hulk movie. <laughs> Good and talk Hulk, Hulk movie. Hulk movie headquarters. No, I don't believe we will be letting you watch the Hulk by himself. That won't be happening. No solo. <laughs> no solo Hulk. Sorry, bye. No World War Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> no World War Hulk. I know you want to see that, but you'll have to do it in Sore or something. <laughs> How about this? Sore. <laughs> here's, the, here's, the, here's the move. For uh, for for the MCU, mm-hmm. they just call it Hulk and yeah somebody else. Sure, Hulk versus Wolverine. Yeah, Hulk versus X Y Z, and Wolverine shows up and fights in the first two seconds. There's Hulk versus Wolverine. The rest of it is all about the Hulk. What wasn't that Thor Ragnarok? <laughs> no, Hulk was a lot more prominent in that one. Yeah, because he is there obviously in the the arena and then he's there helping them reclaim Asgard and then he's them escaping with the ship. He's so a, I don't know. He's a side boy. I wonder what the parameters are to make it a, uh, a just Hulk movie. I wonder if there's like percentages, like he could be in 61% of the movie. Anything more than that's a Hulk movie. Yeah. There probably gotta are be something like that. And I really thought it was some German distribution company that you've been it. saying that for about a year now. And I'm like, I don't think it is. Maybe they had it before Universal, but anyway, Possibly. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I'm wrong. It been, doesn't matter. If it's been since 2003, it's been a long time. Um. Okay. So they just they explained the Ten Rings. They first appeared uh, in Tales of Suspense number 50 back in 1964. Mm. And the first person to wield the Ten Rings, ladies and gentlemen. Deadpool. No. It was the Mandarin, right? Mandarin. Yeah. Uh, harvested from an alien spacecraft. Babe. <laughs> Ten rings. Oh, spacecraft. Spacecraft. Oh, aliens. Gosh. Aliens. <laughs> aliens. <laughs> you got to put your hands uh, Yeah, you got to put your hands up by your head and go, aliens. <laughs> aliens. Uh, <laughs> each ring has a different name and unique power. That's pretty dope. I don't know if they're going to stick with that, though. I hope they I mean, do. Why wouldn't they? Because they're too close to the infinity. Yeah, yeah, but it's like the same thing. 
I think they're just going to be generic, like, so we shoot beams out of these. They say the rings can control minds, elements, energy, light, and more. <laughs> because there's ten of them, <laughs> and, and maybe they each do their own things. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, like, uh, and you the imagine rest. the guy who didn't do his research like us, and he goes, like it us. controls minds, energy, elements, light, and six more things that are so cool that I don't want to tell you. We don't have time to go spoiler. over Spoiler. It's spoiler. It's like this press conference is an hour to talk about the Ten Rings. I know. And heart. Go I'm planet. saving. I'm saving all of you an hour. I made that time. joke the minute I heard it. <laughs> Earth. Power. Wind. wind. Water. Heart. The only one who really brings it in that one is Wheeler. Fire! <laughs> Everybody else is like, wind. Earth. You can't say wind heart. aggressively and really I'm get I'm Captain the point Planet. Wind. Wind. The wind. Yeah. <laughs> God, Johnny, calm what? down. You know what makes that show really awesome is if at the end, Hart is holding a human heart. Yeah, And exactly. he's just staring into it, and he's just like, Hart. And it's like bleeding all over his hands, and the rest of the planeteers are like, fuck. He is crazy. Where did he get that? He's got, he, did you see the kid with the monkeys holding a heart? <laughs> and a big old bite. I saw him take a side. bite out <laughs> We're on the same page. Turns yeah. out he's got the ten rings. <laughs> <laughs> What's that kid's name? Now I gotta know. Oh, the heart kid. I, all I know is Wheeler and Captain Planet. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh uh, gosh, no! I Are don't want to hit the Google button again. Okay, let's do it. Darn it! The people want to know, Dirt. or somebody Someone's is shouting into their right phone. Now. Yeah, somebody's yelling it right Your now. Kids are not eating dinner tonight. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Planeteer names. Oh wow, Captain Pollution was one of them. Mati. Mati was heart. Mati. Kwame was earth. <laughs> oh boy. G <laughs> was or G was wind. Oh, come on, man. Maybe Give that's me why we don't know them. Yeah. What's up with water heart? And I mean, Wheeler's down here. Is it Suchi? I have normal names. God, Suchi was a like Greg. Thing, I think. <laughs> What's that? Wasn't Suchi the? Monkey? Oh, Linka. Linka. Was, I remember uh, Linka. Yeah. She was water. No. She was water. Yeah. And Guy was, uh, wait, was Guy... Wind? Wind? We were the planeteers. Just kidding. No, we're not. No, <laughs> Guy was water. Linka was wind. Kwame is earth. Wheeler's fire. Uh, and Mati is heart. Kwame had the flat top, right? Yep. Yes, he did. He had the most serious flat top. He had his best Jurassic Park outfit on. Yeah. And the gold <laughs> rings around the wrists. That's where things got serious for Kwame. <laughs> and then there's Captain Planet, who's actually the image for Captain Planet is Don Cheadle. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody on Wikipedia is fucking with everybody else. So, well done, Wikipedia. I mean, has, okay, real quick, has everybody seen that sketch? I have, yes. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, Don Cheadle becomes an evil Captain Planet. Well, but if you haven't seen the Don Cheadle Captain Planet, go do yourself a favor, YouTube. check Look that out. It's almost better than War Machine. <laughs> But all right, we're going to take another really quick break, and then we'll be back with our Black Ops Marvel list that we've created. And by we, I mean Megan and I. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait to hear about Call we of Duty. We were informed, but you not guys informed. are going. Yeah, you guys were informed, but we're just kind of like cool. Anyway, we'll be Thumb back in just a second. Thumbs up emoji. All right, and we're Hold back on. to the Alter Ego podcast. I, the, I was just saying you were about content. to do it, but you're no. not going to now. No. <laughs> no, 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 you're not going to do that. Uh, so we didn't get an episode last week because we were just feeling a little worn down, been running a little too hot and fast. So we need to let the engines cool a little bit, but we're happy to be back. But I posted something on Instagram that I thought it's an idea I've always wanted to write for i really want to have these characters i don't know if it's very practical for actually two of them aren't really practical to to be a part of this team but you know how they had savage avengers recently mm -hmm. that had venom and conan the barbarian and wolverine and electra dr strange uh not dr strange dr voodoo was the guy who was in there and i think one more that i can't remember but it was such a unique team that I thought to myself, I'm like, man, what 
team would I like to see if I was writing a comic? And I want to see also Marvel, and I know they've done this before with Marvel Zombies and other stuff, but I really want them to let loose with a team that's like no consequences, mm. right? Like to go in there and the sole purpose be to kill everything, mm -hmm. whether it's demons or whatever you want yeah. to call it, but just like a maximum carnage team. Mm. But at the same time, one that could work well together, right? Yeah. So I put together a squad. Oh, is that what you posted? Okay, now it all yeah. makes sense. Of like how many people? So I have seven on my team. Seven, okay. I have three that are kind of team leaders, I would imagine, and then four that would just be maximum carnage. Um, and I thought my team looked really well together. I've got Punisher, that would Frank awesome. Castle. That's my team lead. He's number one. He's the guy running the, the show, even though I don't think he would do it as far as a character goes because mm -hmm. he'd rather do stuff all by himself. And then I have Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson as Agent Venom. He might be a better lead for you if you really think about it. He yeah, would be, but that's why I want uh, Frank Castle. <laughs> um, and then I have the, the baddest woman uh, in the MCU uh, that's on Earth, I feel, in The Black Widow. I had her as far as so that's that's unfair to say because I think there's a woman on here that's a little crazier than her but I had her because of the knowledge that she would have right the intel aspect of it and I thought she would be really good to be on the team and then I had Ghost Rider you didn't say who it was Black Jubilee. Widow Jubilee. <laughs> you didn't say Black Widow yes, I did. <laughs> I'm looking right at her that's why I didn't say it Black Widow you're like I brought in a woman who I thought would really be great and that, those are all the reasons and, and she's Ghost really Rider. great. And then I got Ghost. <laughs> We're gonna move on. No, no, no. Black Widow. Yes, I yes, mean, yes. she's already kind of hand in hand in that, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that's just kind of the way that she deals and stuff. And then, of course, Ghost Rider, yeah. which Ghost Rider is another one who has his own agendas and why he would work on a team. No idea. Uh, and then I had X twenty three. I was like, nice. yeah. Which she I saw would be some Wolverine, and I went, "Ooh, that's twenty-three. Would, yeah, mm -hmm. she'd be a maximum mm -hmm. carnage type character. I don't know. She could be the silent killer in there in the beginning. I don't know. And then I got Blade because if you're going to be killing lots and lots of things and you want to do it very tactically and very quickly, you would want Blade on your team, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, who is another one, I don't know if he would <laughs> a work well with the team, b be there in a, in a realistic scenario. But I could write him in Drax the Destroyer. Yeah. And I'm talking Marvel Comics, Drax, not, I'm, I'm so invisible that you can't see me. You know what I mean? I'm, I, 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 if I don't move, you can't see me. Not that idiot. I've been here you want the guy that plays saxophone. Yeah. You want That's that right. Guy. <laughs> That's right. The sax of Drax. <laughs> Play that Draxophone. <laughs> I almost made that same joke. <laughs> I don't know. I want to write that story. I want to see. Uh, I want to see how that pans out. I don't know what they would go against. I think I would have to have some supernatural elements in order to get mm -hmm. like Blade and like a Dormammu or. Ooh. I don't know about Dormammu. Maybe uh, Mephisto style. Yeah, that'd be more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bad guy. appropriate. Hmm. Mephisto somehow working with vampires and organized crime, <laughs> and Drax is just there, like I want to kill things. Yeah. But. Let me uh, you made one too, didn't you? I did. You, you saw that and were like, you know what? I want to go with one. I did. Okay, let's hear your squad, and then we're going to have Mark's impromptu squad. Oh, my God. And then God. Ryan's going to say, I'm not going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to watch this. <laughs> so um, I went with Venom, Eddie Brock. Actual Eddie Brock, Venom, yep. Venom. Uh, Jean Grey, maybe more on the Dark Phoenix side. Already so OP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Already just walks in and kills everything. Yeah. Uh, Moon Knight. Okay. Okay. With the multiple identities and such. Uh, Winter Soldier. That's a good one. He doesn't give That's a about personal nobody. pick. That's a really good one. Yeah, but it's a great pick for the yeah. topic at hand. Yeah, it's a great Wolverine, pick. Wolverine, who would probably end up being... Wolverine, uh, who has leader. done stuff like this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rocket Raccoon. Because yeah. he don't give a fuck and he'd kill anything if you asked him to. And uh, Scarlet Witch. You have two players on your team that are like having two queens on a chessboard. Yeah. Yeah. Jean Grey, well, Dark Phoenix and, and Scarlet Witch. And Scarlet Witch. So there's Literally, no need. probably the two most BA females in the Marvel You universe. have two characters that can look at the enemy and go, no. Mm-hmm. You're erased. You're erased. 
I don't know. That would seem like it's easy a little mode OP. to me. See, yeah. it's a, it's a little hard to be like uh, Captain America, Starlet Witch. Now, see, uh, I Hulk. wanted I wanted like the Thors and stuff on there, and he was like, "Well, go." He he was it described it as like outside somebody who yeah. would be willing to take orders and somebody who would be willing to kill without issue. So that's why like Jean Grey might not, but Dark Phoenix would, and I know they're one and the same. But then there's obviously like but Deadpool. Dark Phoenix is not taking orders from a damn thing. No, no. But there's the obvious, like, Deadpools. Even, like, Hulk would probably be up there. Shh, I still have my turn left. God. Oh, yeah. Um, And my only... Uh, I'm not even going to say it. We'll listen to you yeah, guys yeah, yeah. if, you've, um, if yeah, you've got one. If you can come up with something. Mark has been searching the Funko room I'm looking for frantically. Eyes flickering around. So, uh, it, Ryan, do you have something for us? You ready to rock and roll, or you want to go with uh, Mark first? Um... I can go. I love the dead air. Mm -hmm. I can go. I'm sorry. All right. It's all good. (laughs) All right. Give it to us. All right. Let's see. I'd probably go Punisher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cable. Oh, wow. That's That's actually really good. That's a great one. Bishop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tag team. Couple X Men. And then I'd go uh, Hulk. Mm -hmm. Just because I love me some Hulk. Yeah, you do. You're a big Hulk. That's a good choice, too. Venom. Yep. And then let's see. Trying to think of who would just kill people without even thinking about it, you know. But also take orders at the but same also, time. Yeah, because I yeah. wanted to just be like carnage. Yeah, but he's not going to listen. Never, to right? Never. And like yeah. I wanted Loki, but he's kind of in the same. He's no, like, he's no. going to stab you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I can't. Hmm. I'm surprised none of us have thought of Black and Panther. Deadpool. Deadpool for sure. Yeah. He's done that kind of stuff. That's how about, a. How about Doom? Doctor Doom? Yeah. Uh, He's not going to Doctor Doom is the that's guy. True. That's Doctor true. Doom's the guy who He's sits one, in the control room and tells everyone else mm-hmm. what to do. He's the one giving the orders, yeah. yeah. And then I'll drop a woman in there, Miss Psylocke. Mhm. Mm. Okay. okay. That's a good you got heavy. 3 X-Men. You got a solid X-Men team. Yeah. I like it. I'd pay to see that. Oh, you have 4 X-Men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only ones you don't have are Punisher, Hulk, and uh Deadpool. De- no, Deadpool's an X-Man. Oh yeah, technically, technically you're right. What was the other one you had? Anyway, Ooh, I found another good one. Mark, what do you got? I found one that I would I would swap my team lead out for, but I, I I'm, I'm split on my team lead. That's kay. the one I'm stuck at the most. Okay, okay. give us the rest then. Uh, no, I need to start with the team lead because yeah. I built up the team <laughs> okay, from there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Dang. Wait, who was your team lead, Ryan? Frank Castle, I oh. think he said right. He's a good choice. Who was your team lead? You didn't even say. Uh, I said Wolverine. I think oh, Wolverine wow. would end up being. I mean, Winter Soldier could probably be up there, but I think Winter Soldier would be better off taking mm-hmm. orders. That's a good one. Yeah, we're putting Castle or uh, Cable. More than likely Cable. Actually, more than likely Cable, yeah. yeah. My team lead is going to be Cyclops. Oh! Okay. Yeah, because that sucker that. can lead a motherfucking team. Yeah. I like he that. He can definitely do and it. He's my favorite like X-Man. But he yeah. ain't no killer. Uh, he doesn't need to be. He just needs to motivate other people to kill. (laughs) Um, Okay, okay, so I'm starting there. Obviously, I always have to have a Spider-Man on my team. Oh, Venom Uh was your other one that wasn't from the MCU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, Colossus. Oh. He's my punisher. He's my my berserker. Your brawler, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Daredevil. Yep. yep. That's a good one. Uh, Ghost Rider. Mm -hmm. That's another good one. And there's got to be some sort of symbiote. There there has to be. Mm. So I just... Scream. I just... I'd probably go with Agent Venom. Agent Venom. I think that would be the right way to go. Huh. And what do I need? One more? There's one that I'm really surprised that none of us have I thought know. about, like a covert op. I was going to say Ant-Man. Uh, that's a good one. I was going to Get in and out of places. Do they have to be good guys? No. Oh, man, but, I would have added Killmonger to that squad, too. I was thinking that, too, but I'm like, he's not going to follow. He's going to yeah. do his own thing. Kind of like Loki. He'll, do, yeah. he'll get halfway there and start doing his own shit. Yeah. Um, well, that's about, that could be said for Punisher, too. How about Taskmaster? That's a good one. That was one that our oh. boys were talking about because we were kind of having that conversation. They're like, what about Taskmaster? I'm like, yeah. If they were doing evil stuff, Taskmaster would be great. I was thinking Hawkeye. Nobody thought of Hawkeye. Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's actually a really good one. How about I that? I thought of Hawkeye for my leader. Yeah. Like Hawkeye dropping yeah. arrows and nobody even knows the rest of the team is dead. I was split between Cyclops and Reed Richards. Mm. But here's the Ooh. problem. Reed always Not gonna kill. finds his own reason to do things so he can even his own shit is going to turn into something else yeah. down the line cyclops will be given a mission and will follow through with it mm-hmm. yeah but yeah it reads not going to kill though no no not for no reason 
uh, or, or not, you know, with maximum carnage. You know, Reed's going to be like, let's try to talk to them. Another, Cable's a good one, too. You got the whole time aspect to that Another well. really, really good one for a leader. That's why I know he'll come back and smoke you. I don't care. Would be Magneto. Yeah. He's a great motivational speaker. He's that's gr- for he'd sure. Be, he'd probably, he might even be like the premium leader. It's and, if you're, uh, and if you're, your team that you're going against has guns, there yeah. goes that. Yeah. That's true. And then you, ooh, wow. How about that? Let's get one from each team. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to, if I'm picking from my team, and I think a lot, this will make a lot of us, uh, okay, we've got this so we're gonna guy. Do a four person so team? are we trying to make yeah. it OP or are we trying to make it like, who do we think is the best black ops type of character? Yeah. Uh, let's do the option B, the okay. best black ops type of character. I'm going to, I want to stay Frank Castle, but I, I don't, I don't want to stay with that one either. I'll go with uh, Flash Thompson. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I will go with Flash as the agent Venom. That that would be my MVP pick. Uh, Winter Soldier. I think oh. he's the best option of my list. He might not be the strongest, but I think he's the for best sure. for, for a Black for, Ops for, team. For what yeah. we're looking for, he yep. would be yeah. the best. That's why I was asking. Which do you want? I think I'll go Cable. Cable? Cable. This is an OP team right it's now. It's so crazy. Colossus. Oh. Wow. That's wow. the round that out, man. That's... <laughs> Yeah. We're smashing through walls. Yeah. Not, not a very quiet team. <laughs> no. You know, no. I almost wanted to go with Juggernaut, too. Ooh. Oh, that's a good Storm's one. Storm's a good one, too. You know, the whole yeah. weather aspect. Yeah, but that's the mm-hmm. ap- opposite of, like, oh, wait, oh, okay. So, but like, you can create cloud the situation cover. you want. Yeah. If you want it to be rainy so you can sneak in while, you know, you can Question do all is, that is, shit. would she do that, though? I feel like there's yeah. a lot There's a lot. And that's the And that same Depends thing. Depends on who that leader is. It's the same yeah. thing. Would Colossus do it? Yeah. That's why I specified Gene wait a minute Gray. wait a minute you guys just missed it ryan had a great one what? mystique yo she'll do anything she is absolutely she's down, yeah okay with it fuck people up yep she's down to clown and she walks in as one of them because yep. i was thinking of like hulk but he he doesn't want to do anything if yeah. he doesn't have to right all you do is just look at him and go hulk smash and yeah i'm about that action nice. yeah but there's your your everybody's gonna know they were there yeah, yeah. So that that would be my only challenge with a Hulk character. That's why I was even have a hesitant with Ghost Rider. Well, he's a guy you kind of leave in the bus until shit gets bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Is it a code yeah, green? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So that's been our Call of Duty Black Ops teams. Yeah, I yeah. think that was good. That was good. Uh, coming up in the future here, we've got uh, Black Widow. Coming out very soon. Oh, yeah. We're only a couple of weeks away from the end of the Loki series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't wait to jump into that. We will have a spoiler-filled recap of the Loki series. And we will also be getting into uh, Black Widow very soon. I'm so excited to get back into the theater and start talking about that. I'd love to hear from you out there, the audience. Who is who would be on your squad? Who is your people that you would like to see in a comic team up? Maybe even an unlikely duo. Andy or from Toy Story. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> Andy's mom actually is the real Black Ops killer. Oh. Should we? Oh my um, gosh. Sad. Should we open it up to DC as well and see who would come there? Because Deathstroke instantly comes onto my oh, team. Oh, absolutely. You don't need happens. a team if you have know. Deathstroke. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for checking us out mm-hmm. and listening mm-hmm. and being a part of this. We will see you guys next week. No more breaks for another year, right? Yeah, right. Right. We. Right, guys? Right. Uh huh. I think next no. week we do DC, though, for sure. Next week we do a DC team. Yeah. Oh, I'm down. All right. I'm down. I'm the down. gauntlet has been thrown down. All right. I've already got my first team at Bulbasaur. <laughs> is my first team member. Mine is Michelangelo. Fine with Turtle. <laughs> I pick Baby Yoda. <laughs> His name is Grogu, and you can get it right. <laughs>